Hey, that man Kendrick is diabolical, dog. Diabolical, fam. That, that's what we're gonna have to title the video, bro. Kendrick is diabolical, dog. This is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, dog. Like, hey, I knew I was missing ish the first run through of the video, dog. You know what I'm saying? We, I'm just here vibing out with the fellas on the fourth, having a good time, trying to be present in this iconic moment of hip hop, bro. Right. But now that I'm seeing what this man actually did visually on his record to Drake, bro. Like they're visual bars, bro. <laughs> they're they're visual bars, dog. Right? This is this is where he's coming up with new ways to continue the disrespect to like this is it's a video, bro. But it's a whole it's a whole another diss track, dog. Because <laughs> I'm now you 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 hear what I said? You I already I already put the bars out there for y'all to hear. But now I'm gonna give y'all shit to see that a hey, this motherfucker, bro. And I'm gonna keep I'm going to keep. Kicking this dead body, dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then we got the damn remix coming, too. Oh, my God, dog. We got the Not Like Us remix coming, too, bro. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Don't let up, fam. <laughs> Don't let up, fam. In the whole time, in the whole video, bro. That's probably why. That's probably why Kendrick was keeping the whole, the stone cold face throughout the whole video, too, because he's killing Drake in the process. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I'm doing, dog. We got we to gotta highlight some of these Easter eggs, these secret hidden messages that are not so can hidden, dog. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that we finna do, bro. But before we before we tap into that, make sure y'all pull up the shop stevenight.com for the drip. I got so goddamn distracted, bro. I'm, I feel like a little kid at the candy store, bro. Like this shit is so fire that I forgot my whole fucking intro, bro. Hold on, run it back. What up, what up, what up, Night Nation? It's your boy, Stevie Night Bot. You know, one of these things. You feel me? We'll go to watch. Night Watch. Let's get it. Um, Yeah. Merch. Shop. StevieKnight.com. Link for that description box below. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, at least. At least, bro. You, you can do that. That, that, don't, that don't take nothing. That don't take nothing. Um, I got to I may miss some most that y'all caught, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't. We don't tend to break down videos bro but like i can't leave all this damn meat on the bone no diddy you feel me this is all part of the process like the war is not over dog this is new material this is these are new shots that kendrick is taking and we need to highlight them as such you feel me so uh let's proceed yeah, yeah. Woke up looking hey, for the broccoli. Hey, hey, we need to, we, we definitely need to talk about this though, bro. It's the excellent way to market for his his new album, bro. And he is continuing along with the formula, bro. He's giving the audience what they want to hear. Y'all want bops? I'm about to give you bops, dog. This this record he about to drop sounds crazy. Life goes on, honey, to hug my and baby. A whole, it's a whole nod to damn Tupac. This whole scene right here is a acknowledgement to Tupac. K Dot is implying that he is Tupac reincarnated the way he's bringing the West Coast together, though. And then gave me this Cali ass boppy sound, bro. Hot key, keep a horn on me. That come my seat. What's the password? I see dead people. All right, right off bat, bro. I have no idea who the fuck Tommy the Clown is, bro. But. Reading into it now, cuz is a legend, like a living legend out of damn California. He created a whole style of dance, bro. And it's, but this whole scene is the way to unite California, LA, South Central and shit. Because if you're from LA, you're gonna know who the fuck that is, bro. That's big. It's him putting Cali on the map, right? Uniting the whole West Coast in the process, bro. Like K Dot right now has single handedly been able to put the West Coast in the forefront of music by himself, bro. There's so many artists that are going to be able to eat from this run that K Dot is on right now, bro. With this West Coast sound, bro, like he's reinvigorating the West Coast by himself, dog. Right? When last time you heard these Cali ass swaggy boppy records, bro? This shit about to be the fucking wave, bro. Sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Certified boogie man, I'm the one. That Certified boogie man, I'm the one that have to show. That's uh, that's clearly Drake, bro. <laughs> Disrespectful, bro. Supposed to be Drake trying to catch K-Dot slipping from the back. 
<laughs> no diddy, bro. But yeah, it's supposed to be uh Drake Dark Lane demo tapes Drake, bro, with the goddamn shiesty mask on or whatnot, right? But K Dot is untouchable. Matter of fact, if you try to touch me, you will get vanquished. <laughs> you will get vanquished, fam. <laughs> that is uh, a metaphor of what exactly is going down right now, bro. Boogeyman, shit, dog. I'm the boogeyman. You can't touch me, bro. <laughs> Let's get it, dog. Say Drake. I hear you like I'm young. You better not ever go to sell. All right. like, a like, is it a reach? But ain't shit a reach with Kendrick Lamar, bro. You have to entertain everything, everything, bro. And and it cuts to the scene when he says, "Say Drake, or you like him young, bro." Well, first of all, we got to first of all we have to acknowledge the push-ups, bro. You know what I mean? Drake's push-ups record. Kendrick drop and give me fifty. All right, motherfucker, I'll drop and give you these fucking push-ups, bro. But they not they not allowed to be fifty, bro. He's debunking Drake's whole claim that Top Dog is fucking Kendrick, bro. Right? Clearly, that's not the case. But um, Kendrick doesn't drop and give Drake fifty push-ups, bro. He drops and gives him seventeen and a half. Come on, let's count them. Let's count them. Let's count them, bro. The floor, him. Say Drake. Three. I hear you like oh, I'm young. Five. Ten. Six, Tell me, Chubb's the only one that get your hammy downs and party at the party playing with his nose. Not down. quite and 18, Baca bro. <laughs> Not quite 18, dog, bro. Shots, dog. Uh, and then, and then, and then this shit here, bro. To any bitch that talk to him and they in love. You see him doing a whole little heart TikTok. I mean, that's what the little TikTok girls do, which he's continuing to dig at Drake as far as him fucking with little girls or whatnot, bro. But there was a damn video of drake the fuck is that goddamn video he's trolling drake bro savage dog bro k dot is a goddamn savage bro <laughs> he's not fucking playing dog i'm certified oh, lover boy certified pedophiles wah, 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 wah. Dude, this, fuck shit, this shit go crazy bro this shit still go crazy, dog. No OVOs were harmed during the making of this video, bro. This shit just go crazy, dog. And then the whole pinata thing, bro. Who who beats pinatas? Who beats pinatas? Little girls, L little kids. Period. <laughs> he is not letting off the gas, fam. He's trying to strike a chord, and it's probably a minor. Bruh. Bruh. Savage dog on the A minor. On the A minor line, hopscotching, doing some things minors do, bro. They cold foul. I don't know why you still pretending. Man, this, what a is whole, this, this, this a whole disrespect here, too, because you got mustard with the fucking Toronto hat on, fam. I'm rocking your city. I'm rocking your shit while I'm gutting your ass in the process, dog. We got the Toronto Blue Jays hat on. Fuck no Wayne girl while he was in jail. That's Canavan. Then get his face tatted like a bitch apologizing. Oh, the D-Rose shit, bro. The D-Rose shit go deep. I got to look into that shit more personally, fam. That made me think, bro, because lo the whole industry is turning their back on Drake, bro. And I've seen a lot of people, artists, high-profile folks that optically look like they had good relationships with Drake, right? And now to see everybody turning their back on him, right? So it's either the whole world kicking a dog when he's down or some shit's off with your boy Drake, bro, because, I mean, it's one thing for the fans to smoke his ass, dog. Just how I go, bro, you know what I'm saying? But it's one thing for the fans to roast your ass, bro. That's part of the process, bro, but when... It's actually people out here that you're supposed to have real relationships with. It's optically that's what it looks like, though. We don't know what's going on behind closed doors, bro. But, you know, you got from the Future to the Ross to the Travises, the whole the whole rap beef shit, bro. And then you really have, you haven't had anyone come out publicly defending Drake, right? Um, and, and, I'm, and I see DeMar DeRozan here, bro. Like, you got DeMar DeRozan name dropped in the song. He pulls up for the video. He pulls up in the pop-out shit, bro. But then... This is only two years ago. You got De you got Demar saying this shit. You got one of the biggest when you were in Toronto. You had one of the. He was what Spike Lee is to the Knicks. What Jack Nich Nicholson was to the Lakers. What Billy Crystal is to the Clippers. Yeah. He's that to Toronto. And I'm talking about Drake. What's it like playing 
when he's going in on everybody, you know, he's trash, but he's yeah. friendly with everybody, yeah. Yeah. but he's giving everybody the business. Yeah. And you like, bro, you, this dude, he dropped 40 on us, man. Yeah. Sit down, leave yeah. that man alone. Yeah. No, you gotta let Drake be Drake, man. <laughs> you gotta let him be him because he gonna talk mess beforehand. And a lot of times, a lot of players on other team, before he talk mess on the court, he gonna tech, text you and talk crazy to you. You know what I mean? Like that's what he do. And, and you know, we feed we we feed off it. And you know, for him to be the biggest star in the world and and, and support and, and come through like he do, man, that's right. that's that's just him, man. You gotta let him be him. You went to Drake after you were traded. What 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 did you guys talk about? Um, man, we just we just really sat there and you know the, but besides basketball and everything, just the reassurance of like you know that was my that was my my partner that was a right. friend that was a friend of mm-hmm. mine that was like man get away from everything I know it's crazy, I couldn't even turn on TV that day, phone was going crazy I just went over there and we we sat for sat and talked for hours mm-hmm. ate sat and talk and. I think more than anything, just him being there for me as a friend, right? First and foremost, you know, and and no matter what, you know, when it come to him, he'll forever have a friend in me and loyalty out of me because you know he he cared. Yeah, he was there for you. He was there for me when 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 everything was just going crazy, right. you know, and kind of just got me settled in a sense of like, you know, you're gonna get past it. Don't even worry about it. Something ain't adding up, bro. Something ain't adding up, dog. Something must be going on within these relationships that Drake got for people to switch up on him like this. It can't just be stemming from rap beef, though. Like, if that's your boy, like the Rosen was just saying, if that's your boy, you know what I mean? You're not going to do some shit like this just for some clout or for some clicks, bro. And if that is, that's crazy. That's some foul shit, right? But the whole world is doing it, bro. Fans, friends, coworkers. Bitches, all everybody turning their back on Drake, bro. Nobody's outside of academics. Nobody coming out here trying to advocate for this man. You know what I'm saying? Trying to clean this motherfucker's image, trying to help this man in the process, dog. Something, something fishy going on, dog. Daddy Rose came home, y'all didn't deserve him either. From a lingerie down to Central, nigga, better not speak on Serena. Oh, and then we gotta talk about the, all right, the, the Connex boxes, bro. This the shit that sent me, bro. Um, I know when I when I first saw the video, I'm like, what the fuck? All these Connex boxes out here doing? But I had no idea what it was, what the references was, and I wasn't about to come up with no shit, bro. But after deep diving, reading everything, what everybody been thinking, bro, this is playing on the whole sex trafficking narrative, bro. That's how these Epstein's and these weirdos be moving the fucking prostitutes and shit through Connex boxes, dog. Right? You seen uh uh Sound of Freedom? That was the kids, right? I ain't trying to imply. Well, I mean, you know, Drake fuck with the kids too. But um, right, this is known amongst the the sex trafficking world. Is how you move slaves from different continents overseas and shit on these fucking Connex boxes, dog. And you know the whole K dot played the whole Epstein angle and Baca got arrested for sex trafficking and shit, bro. So he just, bro, this the type of shit y'all on, bro. Flax, that name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch. I mean, and then he drops it right here when he says that shit. That name gotta be registered and placed on neighborhood watch, dog. That's intentional, bro. Hey, one, two, three, four, five, plus five. Hey, devil is and alive. Then he just continues to debunk the, the the bullshit that Drake was putting out. As far as Dave Free being a father to one of his kids, bro. Like, Dave Free been along this killing Drake campaign from the start, bro. You know what I'm saying? He helped put the fucking pop out show together. He in the video here. You can clearly see these motherfuckers still homies and shit, bro. Like, if there's any inkling of a possibility that you the motherfucking father of my damn child, you my best friend, that's my woman, bro. Your ass gonna be in the hospital somewhere, bro. But no, dog. We, I am debunking this bullshit that Drake was putting out. And I'm continuing to stand on the shit I'm talking about as far as Drake's fucking with these little girls. And he ain't a good person, bro. You see the whole world turning their back on his ass, <laughs> right? Let's continue. City is back up, it's a must, we outside, Bruh, this low-key, or oh, I don't know, this ain't the hardest part, this ain't the hardest visual disrespect on the video, dog. but this is up there, bro. This is up there, bro. You, you got a woman here, a crip walking on a tightrope in the sky, bro. This is supposed to be visual representation of Drake's Nothing Was The Same album cover bro 
And Kendrick is implying that after this ass beating, nothing will ever be the same for your ass. Matter of fact, you can't make no mistakes, Drake. I got you on a fucking tightrope now, bro. You got the whole world watching your next steps. What the fuck you gonna do, bro? Because it could make your situation that much worse or you could make your situation that much better. It's on you, bro. And I'd advise your ass to stick to the melodies and start singing, bro. Don't fucking come out here talking no shit. And then her sea walking on this motherfucker is putting a Cali stamp on this shit that Kendrick Lamar did this shit. I brought the whole West Coast together to see your demise, bro. Higher. They not like us. They not like us. And the placement of scenes throughout the song, bro. They not like us. And then he puts a shot on the TDE camp. And an angle Drake took throughout the process to say that TDE was dysfunctional. Right? They got shit going on. The motherfuckers is against each other and shit. Like, nah, bro. K Dot sitting here saying, we stand strong, my guy. Dysfunction where? Beef where? Right? Backstabbing where, motherfucker? Nah, here we had this video shoot clowning the fuck out of you, bro. Which is weird that Drake would even take these fucking angles if they were so easy to debunk, bro. <laughs> the colleague, you a fucking colonizer. The family matter and the... It's fire, bro. This is the best scene of the whole song. But I said this shit my first reaction. When he says it. The family matters and the truth of the matter it was God's plan to show y'all the liar. Got his whole family here, bro. No problems here, my guy. <laughs> we are nuclear than the motherfucker, bro. This is my rock, fam. This is my family, dog. You tried it. <laughs> you tried it, bro. <laughs> I got I got all the TDE in this motherfucker. I got they free in this motherfucker. I got my whole family in this motherfucker, bro. Just debunking everything Drake has been saying throughout this fucking rap beef so beautifully, dog. Gonna have his fiance goddamn sea walking over Drake's dead body. Fire. That's a bar here, too. What did you say in the song? Keep making me dance, waving my hand, won't be no threat, dog. Are we locked in? Won't be no three, still trying them, dog. I wish you would, bro. I wish you would, dog. Continue making the melodies, bro. Your little Camilla records, your sexy red records, bro. Stay in your fucking lane, baby, dog. We won't have no problems. And then, of course, the house and the next call. This image just fire bro staring out on but got him caged behind bars got you locked the fuck up <laughs> yeah he did. he did he went crazy with the visuals bro he went crazy with the visuals dog this is a whole triple quadruple quintuple entendre bro behind prison bars i beat you to death with these fucking rap bars the whole cage bird reference with the maya angelo poem why do the cage bird sing that poem is about an, a bird singing trying to gain its freedom which is implying that the only thing you can do at this point is sing bro that's what's gonna get you out of here is if you fucking saying that's the only thing you can do, bro. You can't do nothing else, bro. Or I'm gonna continue killing your ass, bro. It's an interesting dynamic with this shit too, man, because the actual poem is about uh like the oppression of black folks. Historically, right? And the bird symbolizes the oppression of black folks and needs to sing to get attention because it wants to be free. The bird is held captive behind bars, symbolizing the oppression of black folks, right? And singing is the only way that it gets a sense of freedom, some acknowledgement, some attention, bro, some relief, right? And Kendrick flipped it. Kendrick always attacks Drake for not being a culture, not being black, being a culture vulture and shit, being a white boy, bro. Like, all right, I'm going to give you a taste of what it is to be black historically, right? I'm going to lock your ass up now. I'm going to press your ass in this hip hop shit because you can't do shit no more. Like black boys couldn't do shit back in the day. I'm going to give you a hint of that. Now you can't do shit in hip hop no more, bro. Your ass got to sing. The only way you can do shit is from singing now on. And if you step outside that fucking line, I'm going to lock your ass up again, bro. It's fire, dog. Fire, bro. He went crazy with this video. <laughs> Directed by Dave Free and Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> he makes sure to put Dave Free in there, dog. He did the same shit with the Pop Out tour, bro. Made made sure to put those two names in that motherfucker, bro. Another goddamn shot. <laughs> we're not done. We're not done. Hey, 
Let's kill Drake again, goddamn. Fire, bro.